Real people, real celebrities, real talk. Join the Breakfast Club. Blast off in your head. Weekday morning, 6 to 10. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. Special guest in the building. State your name, soldier. Post, Post Malone. Malone. Post Malone. One of my young boys, uh, Relly on Smash, put me on to your record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, White Iverson. Yeah. I played it on my uh, TV show, Uncommon Sense. How'd it go? So, and, I'm, and I'm glad that you're tall. Okay. Because you do a lot of basketball references. So I was saying, I hope right. that he's tall, and I hope that he, at one point in his life, played basketball. Well, I love, I love to play basketball. I'm not, very, play. I'm not very good, but I love to play. Oh, so you didn't ever play professionally for <laughs> no, anybody? No, 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 no. I hit a whole Post Malone yeah. thing, you know, posting you up in the paint. Right. Carl Malone. Well, Post is my last name. Oh. Yeah, and I just made Malone up. But, really? you know, now, I, I tried to cancel out this interview because he is from Dallas, and he's a Dallas Cowboys fan. My guy. Yeah. And I tried my hardest. Yeah. Hard, baby. And his dad actually <laughs> used to work for the organization. What was he, Waterboy? He, does, he still works for what the organization. He he's like head of concessions. So he, <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said Waterboy. That's like kind no, of. No, he, he like, he, he, he in the office. Man? He's what in the office. Head of he's in the he's office. In the office. Yeah, so, so we get, you know, we get free tickets. We get free chicken strips. Free hot dogs. It's good. Life is good. So he owns the concession stand? No, he's just, he's just like, he's the head manager. Does he talk to Jerry ever? Yeah, he okay. met Jerry. So he gets free tickets? Yeah. That's important. Good seats? Yeah, sweets. Sweets? All right, enough of this cowboy. Hey, <laughs> Post Malone. Enough of this cowboy. Come on, so, let's go. You know now, you got to pay for this interview, right? So you know you might want to slide me some of those tickets. That would it? be Ola. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, we call that his Ola. <laughs> Now, now let's talk about your dad for a little bit. Now, your dad actually started buying you records and bought you your first hip hop record. Yeah, which was what? Well, my first CD was Lean Back. Bad I never, re I never really got CDs before then. Oh, but you that's like twenty two. I'm twenty. Twenty. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah so okay. your first CD was Fat Joe Lean Back. Yeah. And why did your dad buy you rap of all things? I don't know. You know, you know, uh, my dad always put me on every type of music. You know, my dad put me on rock. You know, country, every type of which way rap. Um, I just think that like. He he raised me to appreciate music, so I mean I really loved that record whenever it came out. I yeah. just love the beat, and I you know I did the lean back for my mom and all that. Let shit. me see, let me see if you can do it. Lean back, lean back. Hey, hey. you got the cholo. Hey. What are y'all doing? Say my niggas don't dance. Hey. Just pull it. Say it. Go ahead. And do the rock away. No, say the, my, what I just said. My niggas don't can't. dance. <laughs> <laughs> y'all trying to get me in trouble? Now you are a Caucasian rapper. You are a white yeah, rapper. Yeah. Is he? Yeah. Are you white? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. You yeah. Know, you could be Puerto Rican, transracial. We don't know. Transracial. Yeah. Transracial. What's that mean? <laughs> Do you know what transracial is? No. You never heard of Rachel Dozoff? Uh -uh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen that. That's wild. White guy who identifies as black. It could be you. Maybe. I identify with people. Good answer. Yeah. Is it difficult to be a, a, a quote unquote white rapper? I don't. I don't think. I don't think it's difficult. I think everybody. Everybody has their their opinion on on white rappers or whatever, you know, being, you know, against an, 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 the norm, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But I feel like it's not difficult for me because, you know, I just I just make the music that I like and I don't even classify myself to be a rapper. I classify myself to be, you know, more of an artist, you know, because I'm not just rapping like, you know, on a new album, I play guitar and, and I do rock stuff and it's just, it's just, it's different. I heard you and taught yourself how to play the guitar. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what made you do that? Uh, Guitar Hero. Oh, <laughs> the video game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was playing Guitar Hero and I like I felt cool with the guitar in my yeah. hands and, and and I was like, I want one. So I got told my mom to give me a real one. And it was like the hundred twenty buck starter with the guitar and the amp and everything. And you know, I just taught myself from there, started writing songs. Wow. Got you. Are you are you afraid as a white rapper that you may uh be considered a culture vulture? I don't think so. I'm not scared. I'm not scared because I'm not trying to be anybody that I'm not. True indeed. I'm just I'm just trying to, you know, I like what I like. And, and and I don't think I'm biting off of a certain culture or copying a certain culture or trying to be part of a certain culture because, you know, I like what I like. And for you know, all intents and purposes, you're 20, so all you know is hip-hop. Yeah, I mean, I mean it, I'm just, it's, it's like, it's not even the hip-hop culture. It's like, you know, the young culture, the young right. generation of people, you know. Like, I mean, they get mad because I have braids, but, you know. I like the way it looks. Right. They get mad because I got uh, gold teeth or whatever. I, I like the way that it looks. You know, right. it's not. I'm not trying to bite off anybody or anything. I'm just trying to. I like it. Right. You know. So let's talk about White Iverson. How did you yeah. get the name for White Iverson? Explain that to us. Well, it was like, it was like, a year and a half ago when I got my first braids. We, 
Um, cornrows. So, yeah, some lady did them. Yeah. FYI, I think all white people with cornrows look stupid, but that has nothing to do. With, <laughs> no, that's nothing cool. to do with you. I, I just think in people. general. Yeah. 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 But I think black people with blonde wigs and blue eye contacts look stupid too. But you, I don't, I've never seen that before. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Black women with blonde hair, blonde wigs, and blue eye contacts? You've I've never seen, seen, I've that? seen that. Really? I thought you were talking about guys, fellas, sir. <laughs> but go ahead. Continue. White Iverson. Yeah, okay. So I got braced for the first time. Um, I, I, You know, I felt cool. I said I felt like the White Iverson. You know what I mean? I felt like I had the sauce. I felt like, you know, that was like, you know, I I, I just did it because I wanted to. Right. And, you know, that gave me the confidence to just be like, you know, whatever. I can do whatever I want to do and nobody can tell me nothing, you know? Why was uh, Iverson your influence? He's just cool. Stepping over people. And shaking you Michael Jordan that? and everything. No, I don't remember. I oh, never okay. watched that, but I mean, I <laughs> just watched you. videos all yeah. day. Now, now, you tried to get Iverson for the video. We did try to get And what happened? Iverson he turned down? I don't know. It got lost in translation somewhere, you okay. know? It was very difficult because we just was waiting, and, and I don't know what happened. What are you doing for the Black Lives Matter movement? <laughs> what? I don't know. Is that a serious question? Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. If anything, I feel like, you know, and and that's funny too, actually, that you brought that up because I have a song called "Too Young." Okay. And you know, in Dallas, um, a kid named Christian Taylor got shot and killed, and and you know, a week before that happened, you know, he tweeted the lyrics to my song, which was like it was like prophetic. What was the lyrics? I, mean? I don't want to die too young. Wow. And that's crazy that he was listening to my song, you know. And he tweeted it, and it, it happened. You know, it's 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 wild, and I don't know what the. I what don't does that have to do with Black Lives Matter? Nothing. I'm just saying that that that's a that's an instance of like that, you know. Um, oh, he got killed by police. Yeah, got you. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know. I just think it's cool, and then people, you know, the news seen it, and every, and everybody seen it. So I don't know. I mean, I guess. I guess what I can do to help Black Lives Matter is I to keep making music. You know, what I mean, I don't know. Got you. I don't. I don't know. I would have just said I, nothing. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> honestly. I, I mean, I just. I would have just been like nothing. You know, at the moment. You know, I'm trying to learn. My goodness. Yeah. How did you get signed, man? <laughs> um, it 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 took a while. Um, so there was like a bidding war, and there was something crazy going on. How did they start hearing you? Uh, White Irish. Why, why White Irish. Like that, that got you. And whenever that started getting like you know, lots of plays on SoundCloud or whatever, um, people caught on and people started hitting me up, you right. know, from all different labels and stuff. And you know, there was like a bidding war type deal, mm -hmm. and I was just waiting. Um, I was just waiting. You know, it has to be right. The right. vibe has to be right. The people have to be right. And you know, I feel like Republic, who I signed to, you know, they put in all the work and gotcha. the man hours and all that stuff. And I felt like you could actually. You you got to be able to work with good people that you actually you know, like, and I think that's very important. So that's why I signed it down. Why even sign? Why didn't you want to remain independent? And I had this question too, um, because you know we did everything by ourselves, you mm -hmm. know, all the way up to a certain extent. But um, you know, I was talking to my dad too, and he said if you want to take it to the next level, I feel like if you want to take it to the highest high that you could actually go, you mm -hmm. have to sign to a major label, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And in, in today's, you know, industry, is true. You know what I mean? Not really. Well, who's independent? That's actually independent. Macklemore! He's not really independent. But break it down to me, I don't know. That's what they always say, he's independent. I don't know who he signed to, but we was talking about this the other day, and I don't know if I'm blowing any whistles or mm -hmm. whatever, but... The Migos were independent for a long time. They independent. were independent so for a long Thug time. for a long time. They're not anymore. Chance the Rapper. <laughs> Maybe Chance. Tyler the Creator. Chance the Rapper. Chance the, Chance the Rapper, rapper is, is the exception, yeah. I feel like. Tyler the Creator. Maybe I, future. maybe I just wasn't smart enough. Let's just say that. Now, you performed at Kylie Jenner's birthday party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? How did, how did you get that invite? Yeah. I don't know. She, she, she emailed my manager and said, we want him to perform at the party. Did you charge him? Uh, no. Oh. Why not? <laughs> I did. I lied. Like, Damn right. <laughs> All that money they got. Yeah, for real. How much you charge? I don't know. That's a, that's, <laughs> that's out of my that's, that's, black that's, that's out of my answer. hands. <laughs> did Tiger kiss her at the party? I t Tiger looked sad. <laughs> Why did he look sad? I don't know. He was just chilling. Really? Yeah. Well, he should have been happy. She just turned eighteen. He can that's legally f her now. <laughs> well, maybe he was mad. He was performing and he wasn't. Maybe. 
You got a girlfriend, don't you? Yeah, yeah, she's, she's right, right there. What? Ashlyn right here. Yeah, she's right oh, there. Oh, hey, Ashlyn. How are you? You know he's going to end up leaving you, right? The oh, most famous say he that. gets. That's <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you, know, you know the most successful you get, you're going, you know. Is that, know. Is that a fair of yours, Ashlyn? Kind of. Put her on the mic. Now, this is a good conversation. Go here, I like this. Come, right come on, Ashlyn. You know, come on, Ashlyn. Ashlyn. Come on. Come on, Ashlyn. Because I want to keep this for when he breaks up with you. I'm going to give him donkey oh, today. Uh, but not on, keeping bro. it real come with his girl. On, is that a fit? Oh, give a hug. There you go, Post Malone. Yeah. Yeah, That's talk, a new talk, wave, bro. Talk to, to Ashlyn. Right now. Listen. Now, is that a fear of yours, him leaving you? Because you guys have been together how long? Since February. Fe oh, February. Oh, pfft. I thought y'all been together for a while. Now, how did you guys meet? I'm a promoter in Dallas. Are you a promoter in Dallas? Club promoter? Mm -hmm. No, a show promoter. So you waited until he got hot and then decided, you know what? Let me get on him now before, right before he signed this deal. <laughs> I don't know, Ash. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, are you? Are no, you? it was funny. It was funny because I followed her a long time ago on Instagram. Yeah, I followed her a long okay. time ago, and literally, like right before the song came out, like right before the song came out, she followed me. You're a woman of vision, yeah, Ashley. Yeah, yeah, I know. And then she, she she booked me for the show in Dallas with Key from Atlanta, mm -hmm. and that was like. You know, it was snowing and, and, and I just came and I met her and I fell in love with this woman. So and you basically paid him to be your boyfriend. You yeah. Know, you gave him a show. Kind of. But it, it, it worked. It worked. Wow. So are you nervous that he's going to blow up and get bigger and then possibly leave you? <laughs> Is that? I mean, yeah, but I think we have something. You know he's going to sleep with other women, together. though. You do know that. You're, uh, you're, are you aware of that? Jason, what? He's gonna sleep with other women. No, I'm not. No, I'm you're not. Try, you're trying to give me trouble. No, we had Diddy up here the other day, and Diddy talked about the 75%, 25% rule. 75% of the time, you're gonna be a great boyfriend, loving, caring, be mm -hmm. there for her. But the other 25%, you're gonna have your dick in the dirt. No, I'm a good boy. I'm not. I'm now, not if he I don't, I don't live by Diddy's rules. Cheats, I'm a good boy. If he cheats one time on you, do you give him a chance one time? Or you have you, to. He's a rap. Yeah, yeah I would you have to. You give him one chance? I don't know. More than one. He's a rapper. He's gonna make mistakes. He's, he's an artist. He's yeah, I'm an artist. Even worse. <laughs> he's only 20 years old. He's got a hot record. It's only gonna get bigger. He just signed. It's gonna happen. But Charlamagne said okay. not only is he gonna get urban punani, it's gonna be folk, country, yes. pop, yes, urban AC. Yes, a man is only as faithful EDM. as his options. You know that, right? You know that. What? A man is only as faithful as his options. Not a lot of options, you know, when you're just a struggling guy in Dallas. But now that you're a popping rapper traveling the world. No, I'm a good boy, man. I, I'm not listening to y'all. <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good boy. Post, I, got, I got so much willpower. Post, I got so me. much willpower. Listen to me. I'm telling yeah. you what I know. You're a young man. Trust me. I'm, I applaud you for trying to do the right thing. I don't want to keep doing it. But it's it. not going to finish that way. And when it, when it happens, <laughs> I want Maybe you to come will. back up here and shake my hand and say, Charlamagne, you know what? You was absolutely right, man. Ashlyn, I, Ashlyn will shake your hand. That, Ashlyn, this is what y'all should do. Threesomes. A lot of couples is working for it's a lot. It's working for a lot of couples. Like but that way, you can basically see who he brings right. in, and you can make sure you manage the whole situation. It's like being a promoter, it, like it, you are, and you're you promoting, keep, and, and you keep him out of the trouble. situation. You keep him out of trouble because you don't want him to end up catching no rape charge or getting no girl pregnant, catch a STD. So if you're picking the girls, you're like, no, she's a good one. We can do this together. Have you ever thought about that? No, not mm. Two on one. Man, y'all leave her alone. <laughs> Two, you don't want to bother in the game. <laughs> Two on one, Ashlyn, okay? Okay. Were Trust you me. there at Kylie Jenner's party? Yes. Oh, you were there. Okay, good. So you don't be one of those, though. Don't be one of those that comes everywhere. Post, <laughs> nah. you're not going to post, post, nah. post, 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 listen to me. Let me structure this for you. Oh my you're God. not going to want her everywhere. Eventually, you want your boys everywhere. are going to get tired of it. Your boys will be like, yo, does she have to come everywhere? You don't want her <laughs> everywhere. Trust me, it's early. I'm the singer. You still in the I'm the singer. I'll do whatever you I want. You might want her there everywhere. <laughs> You're still listen, in the listen, listen, phase. listen, 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 listen. <laughs> Here's something y'all don't get. I'm not a I'm not a normal person. What does that mean, Post? I'm a weirdo. I'm a no, I'm a not. different type of man, and she's not a normal woman. What does that mean, Ashley? She's a she's an angel. She's an incredible person, and I don't think I'm ever gonna do nothing to ruin it. Well, this is what I want you to do. I want you to read the YouTube comments on this video after it's posted. Yeah. And when you see a bunch of guys saying that they've been with Ashlyn, you're going to be oh, like... Oh, stop it. That's not going to happen. Stop it, man. That's not going to happen. How much you want to bet? I don't know. But that's usually what happens. Whenever you bring your girl and put her in the public eye, it's about five guys. She may have only slept with five guys in her life. All those five guys going to post on YouTube and be like, I had that. No, I feel like people are just going to say it to talk shit. Have y'all talked to each other about each other's body counts? Have you told her how many yeah. girls you slept with? And you told him how many guys you slept yeah. with? How many did you tell him? <laughs> Charlamagne, this is down. This is this is uh, Ashlyn. Ashlyn is excused.
Good job, Ash. Oh, he said excused. <laughs> Good job, man. All right, when they get back in the car, there's going to be a big argument because of you, Charlamagne. No, you, you... Just, I'm just I'm preparing them for the future. They can get through this. Oh, oh hell yeah. And what else? You'll, everything I just mentioned, you will get through. But you just have to be realistic about the situation. Mm-hmm. You don't even realize it yet. Because hmm. you don't realize that you about to be a star. No, I think I, think, I, I, think I know that it's coming. And it's going to be a lot of women, Post. Now, what do you listen to, Post? <laughs> what do you listen to? What influences you? <laughs> Well, I listen. I listen to. I listen to everything. You know, like, like uh, I listen to a lot of old country. Country. That's, that's what I listen to right now. Okay. And and future and 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 thug. Country, future, and thug. Yeah. That's a little. But not like. Playlist. Yeah, but not like new country. Like okay. all the way up to the two thousand. Like who, Garth Brooks. Yeah, like Garth Brooks. Kenny Chesney. Chesney. George Strait. <laughs> Kenny Chesney. Kenny Chesney. Toby Keith. Toby Keith's bad Tim boy. Tim McGraw. Yeah. Back to Black. Yeah. You mess yeah. with Bobby Bones? I don't know Bobby Bones. Bobby, Bobby Bones, Bones, the radio personality. Okay, he's a country radio personality. Yeah. Okay, what 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 channel? iHeart. iHeart. Oh, yeah. iHeart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we really don't have nothing else to talk to you <laughs> about <laughs> because um, you know, you got one record that we know of. Yeah, White Iverson. But you're a nice guy. You get on the SoundCloud. Thank you. You're you know, a nice guy. We appreciate you joining us, man. No, I appreciate yeah. y'all. We're just gonna keep watching this whole situation, see how it plays out. Yeah. You know, just trying to prepare you for what's to come. Well, thank you. I appreciate you. It's going to be a lot of white privilege questions that you're going to get. No, yeah, yeah. They're going to be like, oh, you only got signed because you're white. That's coming. I'm an industry plant. You are? Yeah. An industry plant? Yeah. What's that mean? I don't know. That's what they call me. Listen, go with it. (laughs) Yeah, for real. That's what I said. You don't know what it means. (laughs) Listen to what I'm telling you. When they say that you're only here because of white privilege, you're like, probably, but I make good music. I don't know. That's why. I don't 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 know know nothing. That's it. My boy Wax always says that I don't know nothing. Just be like, I don't know. It's a good answer for everything. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Post Malone. Yep. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning.